I had a thought which I wanted to share. Even though a person is deceived into straying away from the source of peace of mind and body in both worlds, namely, the sincere obedience of Allah, the Exalted, which involves using the blessings one has been granted in ways pleasing to him, by many factors, only two major factors will be discussed. The first factor is the attitude which encourages one to blindly follow the majority of people. One of the main arguments every nation made against their holy prophet, peace be upon them, who called them to a better and higher code of living, was how could the holy prophet, peace be upon him, and their small number followers be right, while the vast majority of people who rejected them be wrong. When one observes society, social media, fashion and culture, they will believe that true peace of mind lies in fulfilling one's desires and obtaining worldly luxuries, such as wealth, a big house, businesses and a career. Whereas, those who followed the teachings of Islam, insist that peace of mind only lies in sincerely obeying Allah, the Exalted, which involves using the blessings one has been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted. In order to avoid being deluded by the attitude which encourages one to follow the majority, one should observe and reflect on the people who gain the worldly things mentioned earlier, and how those things only increases their stress, anxiety, and depression, and encourages them towards substance abuse, and even suicide. On the other hand, those who sincerely obeyed Allah, the Exalted, live with peace of mind, even with a lack of worldly luxuries. The second factor is when the devil convinces a person that if they give up their worldly desires, and instead use the blessings they have been granted, in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted, then they will never be happy in this world, as happiness and peace of mind is directly connected to fulfilling one's desires. Even though this sounds convincing nonetheless, it is nothing but a deception. The truth is that peace of mind is a mental state which is found in one's heart. It is Allah, the Exalted, alone who controls the hearts of people. If he chooses, he makes peace enter it, and if he chooses, he makes darkness and constriction enter it. These outcomes have nothing to do with what worldly blessings one possesses. These outcomes are tied directly to how much or little one sincerely remembers and obeys Allah, the Exalted, by using the blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to him. As outlined in the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. If one obeys Allah, the Exalted, then he will lodge peace into their heart. Chapter 16 and now, verse 97. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do. And chapter 13, Arad, verse 28. Unquestionably, by the remembrance of Allah do hearts find peace. Whereas, the one who disobeys Allah, the exalted, will find darkness in their heart, even if they have the world at their feet. Chapter 20 Taha, verse 124. And whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed he will have a depressed, i.e. difficult life. They may experience moments of fun and entertainment, but overall their life will be miserable. Chapter 9 at Torba, verse 82. So let them laugh a little, and then weep much as recompense for what they used to earn. As stated earlier, these two outcomes are obvious when one observes the news, social media, and those who enjoy worldly luxuries, compared to those who strive to obey Allah, the Exalted. To conclude, a Muslim must avoid these two factors which prevent a person from obtaining peace in both worlds. An aspect of this is obtaining strong faith by learning and acting on the teachings of Islam. This will ensure they choose the right path in life, even if that means they oppose the mentality of the majority of people. A small price to pay to obtain peace of mind in both worlds. Chapter 31 Luke Man, verse 33. Indeed, the promise of Allah is truth, so let not the worldly life delude you, and be not deceived about Allah by the deceiver, i.e. Satan. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website, www.shakepod.com.